Welcome to the CPM Project. Great to have you with us tonight. Great to be joined by Carrie Bickmore, Jane Hall, and Rove McManus. Oh, hey. oh, I'm, I just want to say thanks for having me on. I think this could open a few doors for me. <laughs> you are looking ridiculously brown. That is racist, Carrie Bickmore. That is racist. You, 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 you have, you've been overseas in Africa. I have been tanned. So this I, is real. It's all real, baby. I've so so actually had to powder you down a bit. You were so yep. brown. So I was. from that, I learned that there are a lot of solariums in Africa. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk more about that later and also 10 years of television for you, 10 years of the, the road show, which is exciting. When people hear that, they seem to be shocked for some reason. Like, there's a, a fine line between, good on you, and wow, it feels like longer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 7pm Project. Of course, Jane Hall is with it. We're also joined by Rove McManus. Among his other titles, he is Vice President of Fauna and Flora International Ooh, Australia. Can you say that you. seven times quickly? No, I've said it once and I'll move on. That's, but, um, <laughs> but th that's something that not a lot of people know about. No, it's the world's oldest uh, conservation organisation. They started in 1903 and then the next year started women's boxing. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and sandwiches? Yes. <laughs> 120 programs in uh, over 44 countries. And, uh, and what's, the, what's the overall goal of of, of the organisation? Well, basically to, to conserve uh, natural environments, uh, especially in a, in a sustainable way, but also taking in uh, human needs as well as, as the local wildlife as well. So, yeah, Tasman and I went to Africa, uh, to uh, Mozambique and, uh, and South Africa in particular, and I brought some slides. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 switch back, switch back, switch back. Is this going to be a long night? You know slide nights. No, because when, when, when I do it, it's awesome. All right. no, well, as long as you can promise me that it won't be photos uh, of you standing next to landmarks going, like Eiffel Tower. <laughs> this is me. Big well, fan. I'll start up. Well, the, the first one, this is the sign that welcomed us when we arrived at uh, this place called the Nyasa Reserve. This oh. is in a... T <laughs> they actually downloaded photos of us off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the one of Tazza was a little bit... Oh, what other sites will we Googling? Uh, gentlemen. But this place, this is a reserve that a, a small handful of people are looking after with very little money, and it's 42,000 square kilometres, which is the size of Denmark. Ooh. So they have a big problem with poachers sneaking in and, yeah. and, and killing animals. But uh, but uh, they're doing very well under the circumstances. Uh, we saw, uh, as I mentioned, it's also taking into account humans as well. And these are some of uh, uh, the kids. I just thought uh, it's always cool to sort of show some of the local oh, people as beautiful. well. Look at White Boy on the side. Yeah, though. and uh, <laughs> we beat Brad and Angelina to two of them at the auction, which is great. <laughs> um, this is just a nice photo because uh, we stopped Aww. for a uh, uh, sunset and uh, almost uh, literally ran into two elephants, which was really cool. <gasps> Look at them, they gorgeous? And they came up near our cub and then we realised we were eating peanuts. <gasps> and I just thought, that's so cliche. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Did you just... give them a peanut? I feel like them... throwing at a mouse and seeing if they'd <laughs> run away going, ah! So, so elephants, you, you think that when they're, when they're from a distance, right, you think they're just beautiful, majestic, not that scary. Mm. I actually went on safari with my wife a, a few years ago, and where we were staying, they had an outdoor shower. So you could shower, and it was just Africa out there, yeah. right? And so we're a bit romantic, having a bit of a shower together with Africa out there, <laughs> right? And, and then this wild elephant crosses a river and comes towards us, and we just ended up in the corner going, I'm Can sick of Africa. <laughs> It's like, take, it's like taking your partner to a scary movie, though. They cut up a little bit tighter at night. <laughs> yeah. really nice. Let me look after you. I lost, I lost circulation in lots of places. <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, I got taught how to do tracking. And uh, so we spent uh, a couple of days tracking some, some big cats and uh, actually eventually tracked down a leopard that had taken down an impala at night, which was really, with your really cool. night With your kooky night vision goggles. And that goggles. was, yes, I am a cyborg. Yeah, and what, <laughs> what about the, uh, the bit that you were particularly excited about? What else did you learn to track? I learned to track through poo. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you within three days from looking at animal faecal matter uh, how, how recently they've been there. Proud moment? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late, she'd already married me by that stage. Um, How do you bring that back into normal life, too? Well, you know, then, look, speaking of, there were these signs I saw at one of the local toilets. Uh, we, we stopped off at a... At a, a <laughs> more... Now, I wasn't sure of the reason, but do they not want the baboons to use the toilet? Is oh, that... uh... Are they describing the local men? I don't know, they have terrible habits. But the, the last thing we did was on the way back out through South Africa, we, we, uh, we, we had a look at these, which is great white sharks. We, we jumped in the ocean and had to look at the great white sharks, Aww. which is really cool. Except um, it was really rough, and everyone was getting seasick. Yeah. So I was in a cage with this other woman who was throwing up in the water. <laughs> oh, no. And then they said, and then she's come up and she's lifted her goggles up above her head, and they said, no, 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 they'll they'll fall off, and there's sharks around. Oh. So pull it down under your neck. She threw up into the oh. goggles. Oh. Then a sharks come past, and they're going, quick, quick, everyone down, look at the shark. You could see nothing but carrot oh. chunks. Oh. So that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> 
by but the Tasman was actually not feeling too well, and so she was uh, standing out on the boat, looking out onto the horizon to yes. try to steady herself, yeah. and actually saw one of the ones that breach where they dive out of the water and do the big backflip. Oh, so wow. sometimes it pays to throw up. So you had a good time, <laughs> didn't you? And tan. And, and, tan. and all in all, better than the Werribee Zoo. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no sewage smell just, around. Just very quickly, if people want to find out more about the organisation, is there a website they can There is. To? It's uh, fauna-flora.org.au. Uh, right. Go and check it out. Now speak.